Hi, it's Dr. Games, and I am here to help you out with Star Wars The Old Republic again. One of the issues you run into sometimes if you're on Windows 10 is that something called Bitrader, which is the update program for Star Wars The Old Republic, will stall you from being able to play. And how you'll know that this is the case is it will tell you that it's uploading or that it's updating it will tell you that it's downloading materials, etc., but there'll be no change. You'll wait and wait and wait, and eventually it might even say something like it's 100% and it's updating, and even if you leave it overnight or even if you leave it over weekend, it never updates. Here's how you fix that issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to wherever your program file for Star Wars The Old Republic is. In my particular case, it's in the C drive, Program Files, x86, Electronic Arts, Bioware, Star Wars, The Old Republic. And then you're going to come and you're going to find the file called Launcher Settings. You're going to right click on that and then you'll go Open With. Now some of these files you can do Edit and other things, but for this one you have to do Open With. You can open this file. It's just a flat text file. You can open it with any kind of text editor. In my particular case, I use Notepad. What you don't want to do is don't use any kind of a word processor where it's going to insert formatting into it, extra characters, carriage returns from a formatting standpoint. You're not editing a, a, you're not editing a document for presentation at a conference or something. It's, it's strictly text editing. So open up Notepad. I bring that up because a, a couple of the folks that I tried to help out with this opened up in, uh, in Microsoft Word and then there was all kinds of problems. So we had to go back in with a text editor and pull out all of the special characters and the headers and all that kind of thing. So what we'll do is we'll go here and we're going to look at two particular settings. First of all, Bitrader Download Complete, you want to change that to True. And the other thing you want to do, this is the most important one, Bitrader Disable. If you put in False, False Disable means that it, it's enabled, right? So what you want to do is you want to write True. Then, very important, save. We're going we're gonna to get out of here, and then we'll go ahead and start the game up, and you can see that it will start up. And there you go. So another very quick fix, super easy to do, less than three minutes. But I know that uh, some of you have spent hours and hours and hours trying to fix that, but that's the easy way to do it. I do not know what the issue is between uh, Bitrader. I know that this system, and so it's something. It's uh, something that uh, is endemic to the the Windows system. All right, I'm waiting for it to come up so I can actually show that it uh, displays here. All right, there we go. So it's uh, it's already and it's doing its thing and it's updated, and it is the. Uh, the new version of everything, or the newest version. I guess this has helped, I guess so. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to let you see. So thank you all very much, and uh, please uh, think about subscribing.